Right on, Marco. Show number five, and we're going strong. This has been an amazing little weekend. You know, obviously, I, I'm on location, as we gave everybody a warning I would be. Uh, the lamp is not part of, it's not a new hotel in Vegas. The lamp is not the new Aladdin. It's uh, just the reflection. I'm doing this on a shoestring budget. I mean, let me show you what it looks like with it off. How's that? So would you rather see me or would you rather see the lamp? Well, I'd rather we'll... see you and the lamp and that gorgeous view. I mean, come on. What are you talking about, shoestring? That's where all the money's going. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. You got the best, best house in town. It's all on location. So, um, I'm here with you know, poison you know, I'm sweating in 100 degrees and you're in air conditioned with the best view in Sin City and you're telling me uh, we're on a shoestring budget? What's going well, on here, man? We're doing this without even selling our, our picks. You know, we haven't even made one single official pick. But I mean, uh, you, had, you had some good instincts uh, uh, yesterday and you were talking about man, caning looks good, no elbow issues, caning for the halos, caning this and that, but the key, and what I'm pointing, I'm trying to make Caning look good. I think he had seven strikeouts. But, are, are you, are you but, calling him Caning? I like to call him Caning. We always gonna, we're gonna do our own name. <laughs> it's, our own, it's our own tournament and we're gonna call him Caning. Right and on. I'm going with Caning. And, I, was, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna find flaw, but you convinced me that we should go with you know, the room, we go, Caning, come on, uh, let's just, let, let's stick with the themes of the show. I mean, I mean, hey, how many more shows Cincinnati, are we gonna have? <laughs> Cincinnati got out of well, the Cubs got out of that bottom of the seventh. The the Reds had bases loaded with uh, two outs down, eight to three. And if they were gonna make a game of it, they needed one more big hit there, but they didn't get it. So the Cubs continue to lead eight to three. Meanwhile, Milwaukee is struggling on the road at Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh's got a couple guys on, and this game hangs in the balance. So you think the Bucks have a chance of pulling off uh, two in a row, huh? It's well, the, the, they're they're in the driver's seat here. All right, but you're not confident they're going to finish it off. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not. But uh, Keona, or uh, yeah, however you say that guy's name, Keona, their closers on 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 the island. right. But you know, but but I want to know because we. We want to try to make this show quick because I know that uh, you got uh, some personal appearances to make and some people to entertain in the in in in, in Vegas. There, uh, uh, a lot of the budgetary money for the shoestring budget, so-called shoestring budget, is going to be buying you drinks at the swankiest places. But the key I is, just, I just charge it to the room. I don't know what happens after that. It comes right out of our account because I know <laughs> there's been some uh, there's been some withdrawals uh, and they haven't been small. But uh, we'll talk about that off the air <laughs> <laughs> the caning thing is i don't want people to be misled because some people might say they might intuit that since you said caning's looking good i like caning you in no way had the halos you had no money no faith that the halos were going to win today so you were right on both ends caning looked good and the halos took the l and i just wanted to point that out your analysis, just because you think someone's going to look good on the hill or someone's elbow is not bothering them, as in caning, uh, does not equate to uh, an implicit nod on, um, on taking that team. That's why people have to mail, email you for, 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 for the plays. Because someone could just check that on the show. Right. Someone say, that's not so seasoned. And they say, oh, uh, Driggs says caning looks good. His elbow's fine. He wants, wants the halos. I just wanted to point that out. You were right on both angles. Caning not only looked good, but the Halos lost, and you predicted both. You also uh, broke the news about the uh, really bad cutouts in Tampa because there was a big story today about how nice the cutouts are around, all along uh, the stadiums and uh, but how Tampa's were so bad. So that was the one area we broke the news. But I think you should lead us into uh, – uh, 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 the main area, the main topic, what everybody's talking about. And if you were watched this show last night, you would have saw that we broke the news that there was no way there was going to be a series between the O's and the Marlins tomorrow because of COVID. Right. So should we talk about that? You want to spend a little? Yeah, I mean, I want you to lead in with that. Yeah. So <laughs> 17 minutes into the show, I want you to lead in with that. <laughs> uh, 
it's well, not a lesson matter. I'm, I'm, I'm not concerned. I think, uh, I think people are overreacting. I think people are getting a little nervous. But let me ask you this. What difference would it make if Miami participates in this tournament or not? I thought about that, too. I thought about just having them being disqualified right. from COVID, you know, at DC, uh, D- DFC, you know. We didn't get a chance to talk about DFCs because we wanted to be a, 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 we wanted to be optimistic, but they should get a DFC disqual- disqualified for COVID. But then how do you rework the schedules? We never figured that out. No, there are forfeitures. This is easy. There are two ways to win the championship this year. One is you win the World Series. series. The other way is you're the last team able to play a game. Okay, so it's an, it, it, it's, it's a battle of attrition in two ways. Right. Games and uh, disqualifications. All right. Yeah, I, I think that's an excellent point, and I, uh, I agree with you that uh, the Marlins should be D, uh, D, uh, D, DFC'd, uh, but the well, reality is – Well, I don't know that they need to be DFC'd yet – but well, half their team is gone. I mean, I don't want to cut far. you off. They're, 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 they're 14 players down. Uh, that's almost half the 30-man roster. Those rosters are coming down to 28 in a couple of days, and then they're going to be down to 26. Uh-huh. So they can, they can cut guys. Cut them. Listen, uh, <laughs> I, I think that uh, we, we, we broke the news. It was not going to be a game today. If you watch the show and you want to get all the latest, you, 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 you click that bell. And you'll get, you'll know when the show's in the can. And uh, I don't like saying in the can. In the, in the, in the stream, in the cloud. I just, like, I just don't like the way that sounds. I don't like the. In the cloud. I, I don't like the assonance of, of the way that word sounds. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, so you heard that they weren't going to play. I think that the whole two games there and two games in, you know, they got, what are they, the NBA? They got two in Miami. Now they got two yeah, in right. <laughs> these back-to-backs. Uh, but uh, I think the whole thing should be canceled. The Marlins should take a, a week to let things settle because I don't want to be hysterical. That was what I said last night. Hey, I might be being hysterical, but watch out. There's not going to be a game. I think the Marlins, those four games should be canceled home and away. And I think that uh, they should take the week to let things settle down and they should find a new place to play. And it's my understanding that there's a dome in Toronto that's available. (laughs) So if I hear what you're saying correctly is Miami should be putting the brakes on to work out an arrangement to play in Toronto. That is fantastic because obviously they should stay away from COVID field in Miami. Exactly. Everybody should stay away from COVID field in Miami. Yeah. And it shouldn't be hysterical. They shouldn't be DF, uh, DFC'd. And uh, they should play in Toronto. Around. I mean, you know, I mean, Toronto's safe. I would love. It's not quite the Queen City, but it's, it's got its own benefits. No, the best benefit would be a World Series of Toronto versus Buffalo, but Toronto's Miami and Buffalo is Toronto. <laughs> this is ideal. This uh, is. This We're is fun now. This is, and it could work, right? Miami's in the NL, Toronto's it, in the it, AL. It, it, it could work. We could see that. And uh, I mean, it's a carnival. This tournament's a carnival. <laughs> right. we're, we're serious about the COVID. Nobody knows where it's going to go. If you read, who I think is one of the best sports writers, I hate to get serious, but I read Thomas Boswell in the Washington Post, and he, everything's done. You know, in his in his mind, everything's done. The season's pretty much over. They've got five days, and the whole thing has failed. Okay, I don't go that way because I have a show to do. I got to get paid, and I love this tournament. So uh, I want to see things continue to be fun. It's a little bit nerve wracking. People are nervous. Uh, I don't want to use the word hysterical, but it's getting to that point of a of a high pitched hysteria. Uh, but let's let's. Hey, nine, nine games went off today, nine out of 12. Yeah, that's what I want to hear, So Nine out of 12, and maybe this is going to be what it looks like moving forward, that you don't know who's pitching. You don't know who is taking the field for any team. You don't even know what team is taking the field. Yes, and you don't know who's going to be DF uh, 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 seed. So my feeling is, hey, let's be optimistic. Let the game, let the tournament continue. If you have anything more to say about it, uh, you know, say any, 
thing you'd like, but I, I well, I I'd like to weren't... point out that it's a very competitive tournament, which is surprising. I, I saw a headline today. I didn't read the story because I was in, um, cause I was driving, but I saw, I saw the headline. The headline was, uh, First time in 66 years, nobody is 3-0. and Yeah, I saw that too. Average. Right? It's, it's interesting. But, average. Uh, average. No, I'm just well, kidding. <laughs> well, what do you think of Chicago? No, it, it, you're showing, Pat, you're talking about parity and balance, and it, 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 it yeah. is interesting. It's a fun tournament. So, I mean, if you, if you people, everybody and their brother is talking about what we – broke yesterday so i'm ready to move on you want let's talk about what's going what's going on in the tournament we just got a live text from one of our one of our viewers who says that um the tournament is now five percent over okay so that's uh it's five percent over in that that many games have been played yeah we're five percent over that they're gonna like like there's a five percent chance that they're going to call the season tomorrow. No, no, no. That we're five percent through the season. Yeah. So it's this. There's a tournament, and it's not a season. I, I, I'll just keep correcting you politely. It's a tournament. Yeah. And it's not a regular season. Uh, there's hijinks. There's fun. So let's talk about a few things that are going on in the tournament that, that are that are fun. Uh, this 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 Oliver Perez. Uh, uh, a Mexican-born pitcher for the for the Twins, a relief pitcher, has been in the league for 18 years. 18 <laughs> years. That's a record for a Mexican-born uh, MLB player. So hats off or sombreros off to Oliver Perez. That's a positive. Let's talk about another positive. But I'm going to bring a negative spin on this. <laughs> I'm sick and tired. Well, let's talk about a positive. As bad as Boston is, this Jackie Bradley Jr. started off the day hitting 636. And I think when I last looked, he was still over 600. Can we stop? Can we stop right now talking about Jackie Bradley Jr. or anyone that's got a bloated uh, uh, average and has a better chance of hitting 400 because it's, uh, uh, you know, because there's only 60 games? Can we stop right no. now talking no. about? Teddy in fact, in fact I, record. can we stop talking no. about the, the, the great, one of the greatest players that's ever lived No record? Because this is not a season. There's no parallels. I don't care if someone hits 500. It's not going to be comparable to Teddy well, White. Nelly Cruz. Record. N Nelly Cruz is hitting 538 through 120th of the tournament. How about uh, uh, Giancarlo Stanton is hitting 444. You know, that's higher than uh, 406. Um, Jose yeah, Ramirez I mean, what, is hitting 417. Brendan Lowe is hitting 455. So, you, so, so, so you got five guys that hit, hit, hit 478, and you got one guy that hits 500, and they play 30 games. Are you going to give them the freaking uh, uh, Teddy Baseball's record? Let's just stop. Even the Orioles, the Orioles is shortstop is hitting 538. Uh, Iglesias, Jose Iglesias yeah, is hitting 500. I think Jackie Bradley Jr. is probably still over 600. I just want to put a stop. The, the, uh, to it, I, I mean, he, he's frozen in Arizona somewhere. He could be hearing this. He could be shaking in his frozen little prison, Ted Williams, uh, whatever they call that uh, thing that they do when they freeze you. It begins with a CH, I think. I, I, think, I think you're looking at it wrong, man. Your Orioles have two guys hitting over. Uh, it's not a season. It's a tournament. Five hundred. We'll, we'll have our own. two infielders up the middle. I, why is this not national news? Why are we focused on fourteen players are a little bit sick? They're just going to burn through it anyway. We have to cancel the season. Meanwhile, the Orioles are hitting five hundred up the middle. Yeah, and that Rio Ryu's on third has uh, two two homers in two games. So you yeah, know. why not get a guy who's feeling a little under the weather out there throwing some fastballs at eighty-seven miles an hour to them? Come on, hey, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Let's have fun with the tournament, but let's not let uh, the frozen Ted Williams shake in his. Uh, Martin Maldonado sitting four fifty-five. You're making my point. <laughs> we, remember, we're going to try to do a tight show. I noticed there weren't many views on the longest show that we had. It was, it was about a third of the views, and I think people see the length, and then they just don't view in. So I want to keep it tight. But that's, that's my point. Is 
let's have fun. Let these guys all hit 500, but let's not put Teddy Baseball's uh, uh, record of 400 uh, in, in the balance because it's a tournament. It's not a season. I mean, it's fun on its own. We got this guy Choi in Tampa, and he knows it's a carnival. He's not messing around. He's like, I never hit right-handed other than in BP. Let me get up there. And he gets up there right-handed just for the hell of it. It smacks a double off the wall. He's like, this is a carnival. I could hit right-handed if I want. And in a, in a real major league get bad, he decides to go ahead and hit right-handed. And, uh, and I think that his third try, I mean, because you always get three balls at a carnival, right? One, the knock it <laughs> off, two, the knock it over. His third try, I think he laced the double off the wall. So those are the kind of things we need to talk about. You got, you got anything from the COVID corner? Well, I do. I do. But – I, I did some research today on uh, Dazzy Vance. I, lo I looked into Dazzy because, um, did you see John Lester had five no-hit innings today and then they took him out? Yeah, so what's better, a complete game shutout with a couple of hits for Kendrick, uh, for Hendricks? Hendricks. Or, or uh, Lester's five innings of no-hit ball? Who game, man, because a complete game is such a rare thing. I hate to get serious, but definitely Hendricks. And, uh, yeah, the Dazzy Vance pitched in 300 games, and somehow I thought he had 300 wins. So that was uh, – Well, this but moment. did you know this about Vance? He was discovered to have an arm injury in 1916 and was given medical treatment for that arm injury. He continued to work on his pitching down in the minor leagues, appearing with Columbus, uh, Toledo, Memphis, Tennessee, Rochester, and Sacramento. He was all over the place in the minors. Yeah and only reappeared in the major leagues one time pitching one game in 1918 for the Yankees. And then three years later in 1921, this guy suddenly feels no more pain in his arm or whatever, or the arm is fine. And he uh, throws for the New Orleans Pelicans of the Southern Association and strikes out 163 batters, finishes the season 21 and 11, Unbelievable. And then is sold to the Brooklyn Robins in 22, 1922. So this is like six Meanwhile, years. Meanwhile, he was 75 time. years old when he's doing that. If you look at the right. pictures, you know, right. <laughs> all that traveling to those minor league places in Scranton, Rochester, and Sacramento aged him. But yet he comes in, you know, after the injury to the Robins in Brooklyn in 21, and he has another career. And wins the triple pitching triple crown after all those arm injuries. And so it just makes sense that this is the perfect award. The, yeah. the Vance, the D Dazzy Vance Award is perfect because yeah. this is like the season of injury. It's the season of injury and it's also the season of determination. And it's the season of nothing's going to bring you down. Nothing brought Dazzy Vance down. You see those pictures of him? The guy, the, the, the guy looks like the, you know, the, the, the old usher that's been at my church for, for 35 <laughs> years. And he's, and he's out there striking out major league players. Yeah, so, so yeah, there's a lot of fun things going on. What else did we want to talk about? We, we got a call in from uh, Dr. Doug, DD from the uh, CC. He yeah. called in and uh, lamented how pathetic the protocols are and how unfortunate things are for uh, the Miami um, Marlins and what their situation is. But um, he left a really good uh, voicemail message in the one line I took for it. He's very unhappy about all the spitting that the players are doing. Yeah, I can't, much can't imagine. But his line was, there's only one winner in this, uh, in this tournament, COVID. Wow, that's deep. You can't get much deeper than Dr. Doug. Well, I mean, uh, that was Dr. Doug from the, co uh, from the COVID corner, DD from the CC. Uh, just in honor of last night's game and from Dr. Doug's advice, I'm feeling pretty good, you know. I mean, uh, you know, uh, so I'm not worried, but I want to keep my immune system boosted uh, as per his advice while I'm healthy. So I, I did an immune boosting uh, a meal today. I made the traditional sausage and peppers, you know, with the peppers and onions. Excuse me for a second. And, uh, <laughs> sorry that I had to do that hey. on air. I had an itch. Hey, and, pitcher, pitchers are allowed a wet towel on the mound. So are our hosts. <laughs> see, so, but I go to the hippie store. I, I can't go to my, uh, my butcher in Baltimore uh, because I'm on a kind of a health kick because quarantine hasn't been very good to me and I want to, you know, I want to get healthy and I want to take doctor's dog's advice. So I had to get the, so instead of getting the sausage, I usually would get from Vince's 
and I can't go to Vince's anyway because that was a guy in his basement in Little Italy, and uh, I think he's out of business completely. I think he got run out of town. Something to do with nitrates. But I get the sausage at the, at the hippie store where I get all the tinctures and vitamins, and I look at the ingredients, and it's not. They, they were nice size, and 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 they were the good meat, you know, from a you know. Happy, happy pigs and hormone free, no nitrates, but it, it didn't have the main ingredients that Italian sausage would have in it. It didn't have the fennel, it didn't have the, the hot pepper, but it, it was nice and, it was, and I could see that it was gonna be juicy, but it had, it had something called mace in there. And mace. Mace, M-A-C-E, I've never heard of that. That's a spice. Or, or spice mace. Yeah. And, uh, I've heard of Mace, and I'm sure I wasn't going to like squeeze one of these if I saw someone trying to steal my wallet. It's and the so, same. It's the same thing. It is the same thing. Yeah. I, I had to look it up because I thought it could be the same thing, and I wasn't sure if my body would want that. But it, 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 what it is is it, it's the shell of a nutmeg seed, uh, and, and it's got a nutmeggy thing. Long story short, I cooked up some tomatoes with it because, as you know, tomatoes are better for you when cooked. One of the few fruits better for you when cooked because it because it brings out the lycopenes and uh, lots of spice because spice boosts the immune system but the uh the two takeaways from it, it was great i feel energetic as you can see I, I i look a little bit better today than i've had the last couple of days uh and i found out that the mace you could not use as a weapon and it ain't bad it's not the italian sauces from vince's in his basement in little Italy in baltimore but uh, much more healthy. I recommend that recipe. And anyone who emails Michael for picks, I will give them the recipe. That's a good deal. Because even if the pick is wrong, the recipe is right. And I'll tell them what hippie store to get it at and make sure you get it with plenty of mace. We're cooking up winners here, whether it's on the diamond or on the table. I think we should end the show right there. <laughs> so, so I roll into Bellagio today. I want to check out the sports book, see how how the book is uh, is uh, coming back to life, right? I want to check this out, and so uh, I go is into that, the sports. Is that your book. normal sports book attire? The blazer with the shirt showing a little bit of chest hair and the hair up. It's good. This look. is my look, man. Sports it's book, it's strip look. club, fine dining. <laughs> Wherever, wherever I am. Do you, ever get, do you ever get, uh, you know, everyone in ask you if you like, like, connected? Connected. Connected, you know what I mean, connected? Disconnected. No, connected. No, disconnected. You look like you're connected, man. You look like you can walk around with that kind of swagger that you're, you know, connected. No, I, I would love to <laughs> assign markers and... Uh, and just have my drinks delivered to me, but uh, no. Like, as you look right now with the shirt open and looking all, you know, handsome and everything, you look, you know, you look like, you know, you got a little edge to you. You look like you could be, you know, connected. I'm not, I'm not of that uh, arena. That I, don't, I don't even really know what that means to be connected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, then let's just leave it at that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but, uh, I understand. I, I go to check out the sports book. I want to see how things are going. I want to see what's going on. I want to, and it's busy. It's busy. It's not like uh, March Madness busy, but it's busy. And you got all these gamblers and the masks, and it's great. They're all wearing the masks. And then I realized they were all betting on the. Well, what's the horse race with the with the little thing behind it? Oh yeah, that's the trotters. The what? The trotters with the, the, the no know. no the the they're they're riding in the thing yeah they call those the trotters I don't know what they call it they call them the trotters. nobody me, I grew up betting horses yeah trotters trotters Whatever it is. trotters they call them the trotters I don't know what it is man they run like that and the guys in the carriage the carriage the carriage they're yeah. called the trotters gamble <laughs> you definitely not connected if you don't know the trotters no. <laughs> right now I'm upset so. I was the only one analyzing any baseball games. And just a tip for anybody who's making it to a, to a sports book, bring your own pen. Bring your own pen because they don't have any more. And you need your own uh, paper. You, they, they don't have the, the paper and the pens. You got to bring your own paper and pens. It's a do-it-yourself these days. That's how it works. Uh, unless 
you're betting the horses. You see the fountain back there? The That's fountain looks good. It looks like it might have a little prostate problem, though. It doesn't look like we're getting a full, full release. Well, give it a little time. Okay. It's a, it's a whole show. It's a whole yeah. show. I like, I like so the angels are going to get Rendon like back. Parrot? What, is, what is that? You're not at the Parrot. You're at the Bellagio, right? Yeah. Yeah. Paris is across the... Uh, I look that uh, for some reason that looks like the mini Eiffel Tower. It is. It's, it's it. the Eiffel okay. Tower for the Paris. Okay, it is. So you're close to the Paris. Yeah, I've seen that fountain in person. It needs a little work. They've got to clean the pipes a little. It's a beautiful. It's a, uh, it's a beautiful tower. <laughs> Iron work is good for that. So tomorrow's <laughs> games, we know that Baltimore and Miami are are postponed. But have you heard anything about? Um, the Yankees, well, the Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, that's, that, those games are done. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, if you listen to sports radio, which I don't, but I had to go to the hippie store to get my Mace infused uh, uh, sausage. Uh, I had the sports radio on, and it's like the whole world is falling. So I had to turn it off and, uh, you know, put on C SPAN, and then I'm listening to Congress and. Now the whole world really is falling, so I can't even listen to the radio anymore. Thank God we got this. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, those are the only two games that I know that are not happening. I mean, David Price is sitting there, you know, tweeting away like, told you. Really? He's just like, hey, CB, they don't care about us. You know, the best, uh, by best, I mean funniest, not like something I'm rooting for, would be if he winds up with COVID. <laughs> All right, man. Well, maybe we could cut that out. We don't want to, we don't want to wish harm no, on He's you. sitting there tweeting, I told you, I told you, and then he's going around town. Well, I embellished a little bit, but it, it was in that realm. Let, let me say, that, that would be ironic. It would be ironic. It would be ironic. But, uh, the good news is Soto tested negative, and he only needs one more negative. And he could be right back. He's right Tomorrow, back. How about Cleveland and the White Sox are going to play a doubleheader? Yeah. A day-night doubleheader. All right. I, I mean, a doubleheader would be um, uh, music to my ears. But but did you say the Yankees-Philadelphia game is canceled tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. They canceled that? They can't get yeah. that locker room cleaned in one day? I thought they were going to do some deep cleaning. I don't know what they're doing. But get- uh, I guess it's Philadelphia doesn't want to be in that locker room. I, I don't understand. I don't know. I'm sitting no, in a hotel room. I wiped, I wiped this whole hotel room down with the, with the wipes. Wait a minute, man. It, it, you did? You did deep cleaning in your whole in your, in, well, in your room? I wiped it down. Was it deep? I didn't spray any chemicals, but I wiped <laughs> it all down. All right. I mean, so you're saying it's as simple as that to get that locker room cleaned. I'm drinking out of a cup I brought from home instead of the glasses in the uh, in the room. See, now I'm very disappointed. I would think you would bring like a small case with a co- with cocktail glasses in there, like Jim Thompson. Yeah, but I'm just drinking water. All right. Not, not, I didn't know you would be drinking water. I figured you'd have a scotch. <laughs> in Sin City. <laughs> it's gambling. Have a brown liquor in front of you, for Christ's sakes. I, I like the I like the slate tomorrow. We're in a good position. Um I'm looking at that Colorado Oakland game. Um I think oh. one one more day. Toronto again. you you Toronto looked good today. And that's that, that's your that's your thing, man. You have yeah. been on them from the Get go, and they looked really, really good today. Can you call them Toronto still, or are they Buffalo? I should, yeah, I should just, we should just call them the Jays. The Jays. The Buffalo Jays. Yeah, I think the Buffalo Jays has a nice ring, man. Buffalo Jays against the Toronto Marlins. This is the <laughs> World Series. I, I mean, it's delightful. Everything about this is delightful. So I think we covered a, a lot of things. What, what else did you want to talk about? Do we have, I don't think we have any Ahoy Hoys. No ahoy hoys today. Just uh, be alert that uh, the arrivals in Edmonton are happening today and tomorrow. Ah, hockey. The bubble. It's going to be very interesting. Yeah. Hockey's I'm, doing pretty well. I mean, they, they got like no positives. Because nobody's arrived yet. <laughs> yeah. Bubbles in Canada. Come on. Yeah. Do you see how they work out in the park in those 
many, you know, like domes, you know, when they're doing yoga, they're like, each person's in a dome. It's like an episode of the Jetsons. Canadians, <laughs> Canadians know how to get things done. That's, that's what I like about them. They do it. They don't complain. They're hardworking and they're just salt of the earth kind of people. They're not, they're not a mishmash of a bunch of complainers. They're not a mishmash of a bunch of drama queens. They're, you know, they're keep to themselves, but they get shit done. That's what I like about Canada, and it's clean. And they're, and, and they're about to have a new baseball team. How hilarious <laughs> would that be? They, they got rid of the, the, the Jays, and they're going to take in the uh, COVID-ravaged Marlins. That's the kind of thing Canada would do. They're also, they're also a warm people in some, in some ways. They don't show it outwardly, but they have a compassion. So sure. that's why I think that could happen. Sure. So you want to get some plays in there? Or what do we want to do? Because we got to wrap it up. Yeah, let's wrap this up. Email uh, picks for the number four sticks, picks for sticks at gmail.com. Get on our email list, get all our plays. Um, probably starting as long as Tuesday. But look, Marco, yes. this is our show number five. We may even last longer than this baseball season. Hey, we're gonna oh, let's. We gotta end it on an op, uh, optimistic thing. I don't. That's that's just that's too much of a downer. Let me. Uh, we already talked about the Mexican. We already talked about the toy uh, and the, and him toying with. Let me put you on the spot. I gotta put you on the spot. You, All right. Are you gonna Are you gonna murder me if I no. put you on the spot? I challenge you. Put out a play right now live over the air for tomorrow texas rangers all right let's end it <laughs> but subscribe to the email list and uh i'll give you a breakdown on it and i'll let you know whether you should pull back on that play or whether you should uh all right. get a full unit. Our, first, our first play of our yeah <laughs> I like to, you know, you put me on the spot. Look, I've traveled all day. No, 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 no backtrack. Come on, this is a good ending. Texas, yeah. I love it. I love the play. We did it live. We're, we're on a good run. We broke the story about no games today uh, with the Orioles right. and, and Marlins. We broke the story about the cutouts. Our first play of this nascent uh, 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 show that we do here live on tape. And uh, Texas, that's the first one that'll, that'll always be in the books. Mark it. Let's end this one. There's, there's no to... line. There's no line. I, I suspect Texas will go off at minus 130. If you can get it for 130, 135, um, hit it. Um, that's the, the first play. I love uh, it, man. I love it. Well, if you can get it for, for under 130, uh, do a full unit on it. Um, that, that's, the, that's the play. It goes off at 6 o'clock tomorrow Eastern. Uh, I'm sorry, Pacific. So that's 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 o'clock Eastern. And I'll send out a full analysis once I have a chance to actually analyze the game and break it down. But I was just challenged to pick a winner. Sans analysis, not throwing darts, but uh, the, I, I'm, I'm honing in on that as a play. So great, man. They, they, we already gave them enough background on how you do it and how you think it and the whole caning thing we talked about, how you knew caning was going to pitch well, but they would still lose. I want to just, I just, I would have loved to end this, this episode on Texas, but you gave them a little background. They'll get something in writing. Uh, but I love it that that's our first. And uh, thank you for letting me put you on the spot. I'm sure I'm going to get it in my ear after you're done, but let's, uh, let's end this. Let me, let me say so long to you. I want you to enjoy the rest of your time uh, in, in the city there, man. Yeah. Right on. No, no other analysis uh, here. That's going to wrap it up. Um, Get, get on the ball, subscribe, click the button to subscribe. It's time to, to get serious and it's time to uh, um, start hitting some winners. Thank you, Marco. All right. Good to see you, Michael.